Can you hear us okay? Yeah, how are you all doing? Good, good. We are ready to start whenever you are. Go ahead. Okay, great. Well, first and foremost, uh, I'm Kyle Long. Uh, I wanted to introduce myself, and I also wanted to thank uh, everybody at the Chiefs, the Clark family, um, the uh, Clark Hunt and the Hunt family, and Andy Reid and uh, Coach Heck for allowing me the opportunity, Brett Veach for bringing me in here. Um, tremendous opportunity. I've I've been in one place my entire career, and it was home for me. And the opportunity to come to a place like this, um, I wanted to schedule it early in the free agency because I know there's a litany of players jumping at this opportunity to come into a building like this with a culture like this. And uh, I was so excited to make this happen, and I'm looking forward to getting to work. Let's go first to Herbie Tiope. Go ahead, Herbie. Hey, Kyle. Herbie Tiope here with the Kansas City Star. Welcome to Kansas City, man. Thank you, Herbie. Hey, two questions here for you. The first one, um, obviously, you were retired last year. How beneficial was that time off, uh, especially considering the injuries of the last three years in Chicago? And I have a second one after this. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a good question there, Herbie. It was, it was a tremendous opportunity for me to regain physical, mental, emotional composure, get my feet back under me, played a lot of golf, um, spent a lot of time with my fiance, got to see my nephews. Uh, which was something I, I didn't get to do a lot while I was playing and they're in a formative time of their life. So they need an uncle around. And, um, but I, I knew right away when I was let go in Chicago that I would be back and I needed to do everything in my power to get myself back uh, to where I, I, I knew I could come in and play the level of football that I know I can play. Okay. And the second question, you made the Pro Bowl as a right tackle in 2015. Where are the Chiefs projecting you at now? Right guard or, or are you comfortable going back out to tackle? I'm, I'm comfortable with anywhere on the offensive line. One thing I can tell you with conviction is uh, I've never played center. Um, I'm left-handed. I, I don't know many left-handed centers, but I'm open to learning anything. And I've yet to meet all the guys in the offensive line room. And I'm so looking forward to doing that and finding my place in there. I just want to help bring an edge every day and compete and uh, win some football games. Let's go next to Adam Teicher. Go ahead, Adam. Hey, Kyle, it's Adam Teicher at ESPN. Um, welcome to um, Kansas City. I um, wanted to uh, kind of follow up a little bit on something you said earlier. Um, you said when, when you left the Bears, you knew you were eventually coming back. Uh, can you kind of detail maybe some of the things you did to, to prepare you other than play golf to prepare yourself for uh, um, to, to, to get ready for this season? Yeah, Adam, thank you. Um, thanks for the question. Yeah, well, I, I immediately got with Olin Krutz, uh, former Bears legend, uh, center, great man. And I started training with him. I, I got down to about 270 pounds and he looked at me with a with, with that look like, you, you want to play football, you're 270. He said, don't come back in here looking to train for football unless you're 300 pounds. So I've been out in Scottsdale, Arizona. I've been eating a lot, training every day, um, doing, doing a lot of things to build up my lower half. Um, I understand what it takes to play in this game and have success um, and not relative success. I know what it takes to be dominant in this, in this game. And I, I just, I've been... Rocky four in it, man, just locking myself in that cabin and getting after it. Uh, had some great conversations with some tremendous support systems with my brother, my mom, and my younger brother, Howie, um, and my dad, of course. And I know what it was going to take, and I was willing to do the work, and now I get a second opportunity here. Let's go next to Nate Taylor. Go ahead, Nate. Hey, Kyle. Uh, good to meet you, man. Uh, like the rest of the fellow said, welcome to Kansas City. Um, I have you. two questions for you. Uh, my first is, like you said, you, you wanted the Chiefs to be part of your early uh, free agency tour. Uh, you first met with the Raiders, and then you come to Kansas City. Uh, you know the rivalry, of course. Just, I guess, what didn't work out in, in Las Vegas and what made you feel comfortable uh, signing with the Chiefs after having opportunities to meet with both teams? And then I'll have a follow-up. Nice to meet you uh, virtually, Nate. Um, good question. You're bringing fastballs early. I love that. Um, I, I will say that uh, I wanted to experience free agency. I'd never done that before. Obviously, being in one in one city my entire career. Um, you know, Vegas had me in. It was it was a good trip, and 
uh, I went straight from there to here. And if it, it feels awkward landing in a, in a city that you don't consider home, but when you walk into this building here in Kansas City, it becomes apparent that uh, things are different here. And sitting in Coach Reed's office, I just knew this is where I wanted to be. And if they wanted to have me, I was going to do everything in my power to make this happen. Thanks. And, and then my second question for you, Kyle, is, um, look, I'm sure you talked to Patrick along with Brett and Andy. Um, just how exciting is it to have the opportunity to play in an offense where, you know, they've had success in the past? And um, what are your thoughts also about maybe working together with, with Joe Tooney now, understanding that you guys are the two new guys on the offensive line? Well, I'll, st I'll start with the Tooney question, if you don't mind, and I'll circle back. Um, I got to meet Joe last night, and if there's one thing I know about Joe Tooney before I even got to meet him was that he was tough, he was intelligent, and he loves the game of football. He played under a tremendous offensive line coach, Dante Scarnecchia, in New England uh, for the entirety of his career. Uh, I've seen him in joint practices before. I know how he works. So last night when I had the opportunity to meet him and break some bread with him over some, some barbecue, it was, uh, felt like he wasn't a stranger, and I don't think I felt like a stranger to him. Uh, look forward to being able to just join that offensive line room and get in where you fit in. And in regard to the opportunity to play uh, for such a tremendous offense with so many obviously special pieces, it's it looks football's a lot of fun to me. Um, I've had I've had fun even even when we're uh, ha when I've had some struggles in the past. But the opportunity to come here and win and um, it's fun, and I want to be a part of that. We can't lose sight of the fact that this is uh, this is a game. It's a great game that we get to play, and I think you guys will find out very quickly that I enjoy playing this game, and I like to bring a lot of energy, and I feel like I'll fit in really well in this locker room. Let's go next to Karen Kornacki. Go ahead, Karen. Hi. Hi it Karen. is so good to have you in Kansas City. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you. I just want to know, when you look at this offense, what kind of challenge does Patrick Mahomes present to you? I'm sure you've never uh, been in front of a quarterback like him. Well, I've never been around a guy who can throw it from every inch of the football field to any inch on the football field. And I look forward to that. I look forward to being in the huddle with a guy we know we have a shot with every down, every game, every week. Uh, it's a unique opportunity. He's a special talent, and I'm just uh, blessed to have this opportunity. Thanks, Kyle. You're welcome. Go next to Pete Sweeney. Go ahead, Pete. Hey, Kyle. Welcome to Kansas City, like everybody else said. Thanks, Pete. Spent the beginning of your career with the Chicago Bears. I know that there's sometimes players in different sports that will change numbers when they go, um, you know, want to sort of reset their career, have a, have a new chapter. Now you'll be changing jerseys. What do you anticipate putting on a new jersey will be like? And what does it mean for you as far as maybe a, a second chapter, a second phase of your career? Well, it's, uh, it's the renaissance here for me. It's a, the rebirth. Um, I get a second opportunity, get to start fresh here. Um, you know, I, I came in and I didn't even think about uh, numerically what number I would try to get. And um, out of respect for the guys that are here and the guys that have played here recently, uh, I didn't want to step on any toes. So I, I picked the number with the help of my older brother, Chris, and uh, we're fired up about it. I'm fired up about it. And, you know, I, I got to see my jersey today. And I said, where's my helmet? Uh, you know. Uh, we've got three left, so let's go right down the line, starting with Matt McMullen. Go ahead, Matt. Hey, Kyle. Uh, like everyone else said, welcome to Kansas City, man. Um, Thanks, Matt. You've kind of touched on this already, but just when you went through this free agent process, you had a chance to go where you wanted. What was it about Kansas City that made you want to come here? Man, uh, well, I had the opportunity to play for Matt Nagy in Chicago, and I thoroughly enjoyed my time with him, the energy he brought, and it's no secret that um, he adopted a lot of his thought processes from – Andy Reid and um, the staff here, and obviously the roster, the opportunities to win football games and do special things in this league. It's something I've never done in my career, and I feel like I could fit. Uh, I know I can fit here, and I'm looking forward to proving that. Let's go next, Todd Lebo. Go ahead, Todd. Hey, Kyle. Um, when uh... – what was last year like for you? We know what a lot of the guys who were in the league were with, with the protocols and all those kind of things. 
was that something that you maybe didn't miss out on? I mean, you know, did you enjoy not having to go through all the stuff they went through on that COVID side? And I'll have a quick follow-up, Brad. Todd, thanks for the question. Nice to meet you. Um, I had the opportunity to work with CBS um, Sports this past year. And while I wasn't hitting people week in, week out, I was covering y'all's games, pregame, um, our games. And uh, we, we had a very strict uh, regimen in terms of protocol. And we followed that very, very, very carefully. And I understand that the league did a tremendous job. And I'm looking forward to this year and seeing – uh, it'll be, as you said, my first my first time in the league with with these protocols. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. You touched on this a little bit. We obviously all know your dad played for the Raiders. When when you were growing up, he was just about retiring. Was was, it, was the Chiefs a dirty word in the Long household? How how deep did that robbery run in your house? Uh, I'll leave it at this. I did know that the Chiefs and the I do know that the Chiefs and the Raiders do not like one another very much. <laughs> and we'll go last to Sam McDowell. Go ahead, Sam. Hey, man, um, I wondered, first of all, really quick question. Uh, was Patrick Mahomes part of the recruiting process at all? Did you talk to him before you signed? I absolutely did talk to Pat. Um, I actually reached out to him. I said, Patrick, get me in there, man. You know, I'd love to come play for you. And obviously, Brett uh, did a tremendous job getting me in here. And just so lucky to be here and so happy to be a chief. That's the first time I've actually said that. I'm so happy to be a chief. Kyle, we appreciate the time. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, guys. See you all soon. Absolutely.